I'm Andy Wallach, a professional development and math specialist at the Delaware County Intermediate Unit. In this video, we will continue to use the Danielson Framework for Teaching as a way to focus our efforts on teaching and learning mathematics. For teachers of mathematics, the framework provides a vehicle for us to think about teaching and learning and helping students make meaning of mathematics. In previous videos, we focused on the importance of choosing mathematical tasks that are rich and that creating an environment where students feel safe to try something new and consider the perspectives of others. We now turn our attention to Domain 3, Instruction, and we focus on raising the level of mathematical communication through rich discussion and writing for various purposes. In the Framework for Teaching, Domain 3 includes five components as shown. Each of these components is explained in detail within the framework. So how do we promote discourse and writing in mathematics? Well, questions provide an essential role in that, because questions and questioning techniques are some of the most powerful tools that a teacher has to gauge student understanding and progress. Questions should be purposeful and cause students to think. We should ask students to make sense of math concepts, expand on ideas, challenge misconceptions, and make connections th through our questioning. Further, it is essential that teachers explore all students' thinking and not assume that they understand something. We want to ensure that students have the opportunity to share their thinking and reasoning. One way to do this is to use what Dylan William calls basketball questioning instead of table tennis questioning. In many classrooms, teachers initiate a question, call on an individual student, often with his or her hand up, assume when an answer is given that other students understand, and then move on, repeating this cycle. He calls this table tennis questioning. Instead, he proposes that we use basketball questioning. So when a student responds to a question, bounce the response to another student, and then perhaps another. Ask questions like, do you agree? Why or why not? What else can you add? Have students pose questions to one another, etc. In this way, all students are accountable, students hear the opinions of others, they have an opportunity to def defend their thinking, and teachers get more informed information about what students know and understand before they continue a lesson. Writing in math class is another format where students can show their mathematical thinking and teachers can gauge their conceptual understanding. However, we may have to build up to that level of writing and provide scaffolded writing tasks for our students. If your students need support, Start with descriptive writing, where they just get their thoughts on paper, write what they know, or describe a concept. Next, move to procedural writing that is more organized and focuses on summarizing processes. Conceptual writing is where students convey their understanding and explain how they know a particular conclusion or concept. Finally, creative writing allows students to be more expressive, using various formats or creating their own word problems. Of course, there are many techniques teachers can use to promote better use of vocabulary, discourse, and writing in mathematics. I look forward to our next discussion of Domain 4. In the meantime, here are some resources to consider. The Framework for Teaching provides much more detail on elements that are conducive for a positive classroom environment. Dylan Williams' Embedded Formative Assessment gives both the research base and implementation strategies for using questioning and formative assessment in classrooms. And the DCIU Math Standards Wikispace has many resources for the implementation of the PA Core Math Standards. From the Wiki Home place, page, go to the Math and the Danielson Framework page to find the resources mentioned here. I thank you for watching this video. Please email me with any questions or needs you may have, and follow me on Twitter for video updates and articles and other information that focus on math and education. And now,
towards the end of this video. Bye-bye for now.